Okay, um, I'm not happy with the Blender measure tools or measure it um, in that I want, I would like uh, an interactive measure tool between two empties, similar to other programs like Maya. Um, I, I, so I need that functionality. And initially I did it sort of a long winded convoluted way using third party scripts and um, modifiers and, and stuff like that. But it's a far simpler way, which is to use the nodes. So this is the first time I've used the nodes, but it, I've got it to work pretty quick. So what we're going to do, first of all, let's deal with the number. So you, so we have two two empties, a line drawn it and a number measuring the distance. That's what we want to do. So let's select the, the box and create um, geometry thing. And then we'll go, let's say, and we'll have some empties in there as well. Or uh, empties. Grab that, stick it over there. Duplicate, stick it over there. So maybe the first thing would be to make the, the numbers appear between the empties. So let's sort that out first. So let's go drag the empty in there um, and drag the other empty in there. And this is pretty easy. What we need to do is add add the two locations together uh, and then divide. So imagine, let's just deal with one axis, let's say. So the Y axis, add the position of both Y axis and divide by two. And that will give us the average in the y dimension and you do that for the z dimension and the x dimension but there's an easier way which is to use the there's actually a vector mass thing um vector maths which deals with it all together collectively so we can just go we'll stick that and it's got xyz and we'll stick that and then xyz and i'll add both of those vectors together to generate a new vector right so that's we want to add them together like this and then if we add another vector mass um, and then we want to divide by two to get the average, right? If you if you want to get the average of a, a list of values, you add them together and divide them by the list of the value, right? So there's two values. We want to add together, get the average, divide them by two. So go vector into the top vector. So this is the, the, the summed vector of the, those two empties. And then we want to divide it. Um, divide by two for x y and z okay and then we just need to go uh, add a transform I think and we'll connect that up to the geometry and just plug the vector into there and then we have um, our well cube at the moment but we'll turn it into text um, in uh, between the two empties there so let's do the string to um, string to uh, curve and we'll stick that in there so that will disappear and we need to give it some information right so if we just would type test I think that would appear. So there, so we've got, but we obviously don't want test. We want to measure the distance between those two empties, right? Um, so what we can do is if we go curve uh, line, this will draw a line between these two empties. So plug those two in there like that. Um, and then we want to go we want to measure that line. I don't think it actually draws it in the view because it's not connected up to the it's not connected to the output group because we, we don't um, then we get the line and the text and the same thing and, and so it'd be, I think it might be worth treating it as a separate uh, object. So then we go curve um, length and then we plug that into that and then we feed length. I think if we might need to do a value. Uh, can we just plug that straight into there? No, we need to do it's red, you see. Um, so we need to do value to string. So this will change um, change the numbers to to text. Uh, so we go plug that into there, plug that into there, and we get maybe we have it to two decimal points. So those those two empties are thirty meters away is that right that's 
Yeah, I think that is right. So it's just getting really close or on top of each other, and then it should be zero, right? Which it is. So that's working. Great. Okay, so let's, um, and then we want to connect up the transform. So I think we want to go like this. Um, we need to pop that in there. So the curves go up to there and then across to there. And now our now our text um, is between between the thing. And we will list fill in the curves as well. I think that's curve fill. It's amazing how you just need to get a a, a, a small win, and then suddenly it all makes a lot more sense. Uh, the the because initially I stayed away from the from the um, uh, geometry nodes just because it was. It seemed like that I've I've got so many nodes. What within you can blueprint and Unreal? I didn't really want to add any more. But um, fill curve, right? So I think we can just go and stick that in there. So there we go. And then next thing, I really would like to get it to align to the viewport. I mean, I think I can get it to align to the camera. Um, but um, let's let's sort out drawing the actual line between there. So I'm going to create another cube. Um, which and another th flow, and then we will disconnect it, and then we'll go drag in just to, g to keep the two the text and the line separate, so that we c you know if I need to change how they're drawn, it's not all in one ob object, and then we'll do the again um, curve line, plug in the trans location can we just do that and there we go um, and so now it's probably sort of worth saving this as some sort of as I say the, the alignment I'm still undecided on how to um, you know how to how to have that orientated because I'll probably be rendering out orthographic views you know sort of side and whatever so I'd, I'd want the text to to be um, to whatever orthographic view, so it'd be good if I could find a way of automating that too, um, so that I don't have to manually rotate it depending on what view. Because I need to do like plan, elevation, perspective, um, make it like a quick time of these empties moving, you know, representing a position of an object or something. Okay, so that's it. Um, I know it's not like rocket science or whatever. I mean, it's surprising that Blender doesn't have something like this already built in. But I mean, that's I mean, that's you know, it's great that it's open enough just to be able to make stuff like this. Um, but um, yeah, I'm going to stop the video there. Just I just wanted to share that because I I think this is going to be this is exactly what I need, and I've got a lot fa a lot I got to the results a lot faster, um, and the, the end result is fully dynamic, um, and it was really intuitive um, after just initially just fumbling a little bit I mean what you'll find that you know vector mass in um, unreal or or um, nuke and stuff is very similar there's not really so once you get the sort of concept basic concepts down it's like yeah okay I'm going to stop the video so that's it